dear students, my name is Nuris Bolova and I'm associate professor of Department of Management Marketing of South Kazakhstan uh, University. And um, here just the uh, um, discipline is um, marketing research and one of theme of uh, discipline marketing research will be just international marketing research. And our plan will be just consist of two questions, a framework for international marketing research and measurement and scaling. And here just we can see that uh, international marketing research can be defined as a systematic design, collection, analysis and reporting of data relevant to a specific marketing situation facing an organization one in one or more countries outside its domestic market. It involves gathering and analyzing information on markets and competitors and consumers on a global scale to inform marketing strategies and decisions. And here just we can see that the key aspect of international marketing is a systematic approach like uh, any research process. International marketing research follows as a structured approach to ensure accuracy and reliability in the findings. Global scope is unlike domestic marketing research and it encompasses multiple countries each with unique culture, economic, political and legal environments. And cultural uh, sensitivity is understanding and respecting cultural differences is crucial as it impacts uh, consumer behavior, communication styles and market dynamics. And here just to we continue just um, consider key aspects of international marketing research is the data collection and analysis, which means it's uh, utilizing both um, primary data collected uh, first hand through just uh, those uh, surveys, interviews and secondary data from international sources. And here we can see that some decision making tools, it uh, aids in making informed decision regarding market entry product adaptation and uh, um, marketing strategies and competitive positioning in international markets. And here just we can see that the benefit of international market research is identifies its global opportunity, helps businesses uncover potential markets and segments across different countries. And here we can see that the reduce risks and provide these insights that minimize the risk associated with entering and operating in foreign markets. And in here just we can see that it enhances competitive advantage, offer a deeper understanding of global competition and market trends, and inform strategy development. It uh, guides the formulation of effective marketing strategies tailored to diverse international markets. And here just difference uh, from domestic marketing research, I mean, I mean just the difference between international marketing and the domestic marketing research. Here just we can see that some, uh, both aim together and just analyze market related information to support marketing decision. And however, there are several key differences between uh, the two primary due to the broader and more complex nature of international markets. Here are the main differences. Here just uh, scope and complexity, uh, just um, international marketing research uh, covers multiple countries and regions, each with unique market dynamics, cultural norms, economic conditions and legal and regulatory environments and competitive landscapes. This requires a broader and more complex research approach. As mm, we know, just domestic marketing research, it focuses on a single country or just um, um, just a gamut genus, just a um, market, um, I mean, is, and uh, the scoping is narrow, and the market conditions are generally more uniform and easy to understand. Also, just a cultural difference between these uh, two types here, just international marketing research must account for diverse cultural norms, values, behaviors, and languages. Cultural sensitivity and understanding are critical for accurate data collection and interpretation. In domestic marketing research, while cultural differences may exist within a country, they are usually less pro just pronounced and than in international context. Cultural factors are more consistent and easy to manage. And here just market entry strategies. It's, um, International marketing research involves understanding different market entry strategies such as uh, exporting just uh, uh, joint ventures, franchising and uh, wholly owned subs just the subsidiaries. 
and here just research helps in assessing the feasibility just um, and risk of these strategies in various markets. And here domestic market research is focused on expanding within a familiar market and often dealing just with regional or local market entry strategies. And the consumer behavior it means that some um, international marketing research studies consumer behavior across different cultures which can vary just uh, significantly in terms of preference, attitudes, and purchasing habits. Here just we can also just domestic market research focused on understanding consumer behavior within a single cultural context which is generally more just um, homogeneous. And here cost and time. Uh, we can see that just international markets and research and domestic. Mm, we can see that the first uh, international market and research is often just more costly and time consuming due to the need for extensive uh, travel and translation services and coordination just across different countries. Domestic market and research is generally less expensive and quicker to conduct as it involves fewer just uh, logistical challenges and complexities and technological infrastructure here just we can see that the international uh, marketing research between domestic research uh, international market research uh, significantly across countries uh, impacting the availability and reliability of data collection methods like online service or digital analytic and here just we can see this operate with a single technological infrastructure making it easier to leverage uh, advanced research tools consistently. And also we can see that the challenges in international marketing research, it's language barriers, cultural difference, and legal and regulatory issues. Types of international um, marketing uh, research is exploratory, descriptive, and causal. Here just we can see that the research process overview, steps involved in conducting international market and research. Uh, the first step is uh, defining the research problem, it's the importance of a clear problem definition and examples of research problems. And step uh, uh, number two is uh, developing the research plan, is it choosing the research method. And here just the data collection, primary data collection methods and secondary data sources. Uh, we can see that some um, uh, type of qualitative research and quantitative research. Uh, here, just uh, uh, primary data collection, as uh, we said, it's uh, advantages, disadvantages. Uh, secondary data collection, sampling in international market, data analysis. If you just uh, use it uh, like this one, you can um, get more interesting information, uh, depend on just uh, uh, you will just uh, learn from um, international or domestic markets and research. And here just um, cultural consideration in international market and research. And uh, here just we can see this language and communication. And uh, translation and uh, localization it ensures that surveys, questionnaires and other research instruments or tools are accurately translated and localized just to fit the cultural context and communication style be aware of different communication preference uh, such as direct versus indirect communication and second one is the culture norms and values uh, you can see that the social norms values and beliefs and social norms it understands the social norms and behaviors that influence consumer attitudes and responses and values and beliefs is to recognize the core values and beliefs that drive consumer behavior uh, this can vary just significantly between cultures and impact purchasing decisions. And uh, just um, here we can see that the culture bias and uh, neutral questions. It's a um, big um, just the cautious uh, of culture bias that can affect both uh, researchers and the respondents. This includes just, um, just ethnocentrism where one one's own culture is viewed as a superior. And here just neutral questions, design story questions that are culture neutral and free from bias to avoid skewages the data. And here just we can see that some consumer behavior, it's a buying motive that the different cultures have varying just motive for purchasing products. Understand these motives to trailer your research appropriately. 
and here just studies the decision-making process in the different cultures, including the role of family, community, and social influences. And cultural dimensions is Hofstede model. It's, um, I think it will be very interesting for you. That's a, uh, cultural dimensions um, usually um, just the name Hofstede just model. Power distance is degree to which uh, less powerful members of society accept and expect power to be distributed uniquely. And here just um, uh, you can see that uh, distribution of roles between genders and the preference for achievement, heroism, assertiveness, just ma material reward for success. And here just um, a long-term orientation, short-term normative orientation, focus on future rewards and versus past and present. And here just the extent to which a society allows to relatively free just the gratification of basic and natural human drivers uh, are related to enjoying life and having fun. Also, we can see that the future trend in international marketing research is the increased use of artificial intelligence and machine learning. And here we can see that uh, big data and advanced analytics. Uh, and here just uh, future trends is um, growth of mobile and digital research tools. And here we can see that the integration of augmented reality and virtual reality. In conclude, I would like to say that the international market and research is essential for understanding and navigating the complexities of global markets. It, inf it involves a systematically gathering and analyzing data across diverse countries to inform strategic decision. I hope this information will be just useful for your in process of market and research. Thank you for your attention.